Employees of Citizens Tower had to evacuate over the weekend after more than a foot of water made it into the building Friday evening. That water damage leaving the elevators and service centers inoperable. KLBK's Alyssa Tejas shows us how this might uh, help or hurt their customers. Streams of water flooding the city of Lubbock Utility Building late Friday night. That was a door that just came through the glass door. Furniture being carried away and a door ripped off its hinges. The water coming in through tunnels located underneath the building. That's not a person opening those doors. That's that flow of water that you saw come into the other area. Lubbock City Manager Jarrett Atkinson says about a foot and a half of water made it inside. The building is home to about 70 City of Lubbock Utility employees. The staff that was in that building, that's mainly at night, that's your dispatch center for LP and L calls. That staff evacuated very, very quickly. They were gone. After making sure their employees were safe, crews came in to begin removing the water. Staff was able to get the water to go into that atrium, which allowed that very large equipment to go to work. The basement is the only place the flooding happened, and only a few computers were damaged in the office space. The next thing on the city's agenda, making sure the folks who work in the department could resume their duties. Staff for City of Lubbock Utilities has been working around the clock to try to relocate every single one of these employees and all the functions that they perform on a regular basis. City of Lubbock Utilities will be closed until Wednesday, but they want to assure customers this will not affect them too much. There will be no disconnections of service for non-payment and no late fees assessed for the entire month of March. Right now, it's not known how the water may have entered the tunnels, but it may have something to do with the construction taking place across the street. It happened at 10 o'clock Friday night. It's 3.30 on Monday. We, we don't have those answers at this time. We will get them. The building welcoming city employees less than a year ago, but Atkinson says this is a rare incident and will likely not happen again. Alyssa Teas, KLBK News.